Benno and the butterfly. Benno had a beautiful garden in front of his house. There were red and pink roses, marigolds, shoe flowers, bright yellow sunflowers, jasmines and lilies. In the middle of the garden was a pond where white lilies grew. Mom had her kitchen garden in one corner where she grew brinjals, ladies fingers, lime, chilies, and greens. There was a huge bougainvillea with bright pink flowers. He spent his evening watering the plants. During weekends, Benno and his mother would loosen the soil Pull out the weeds, sprinkle manure and keep the garden clean. Benno was proud of his garden. One evening, Benno saw a beautiful butterfly with yellow wings spotted with violet dots. It was flying from one flower to another. He liked it and wanted to catch it. He ran towards the pink rose flower where the butterfly was. Alas, the butterfly flew away and sat on the shoe flower. Benno was careful this time. He slowly crept towards the butterfly, but he could not catch it. Then Benno saw it on a white lily flower in the middle of the pond. He went splash into the water, but off flew the butterfly and sat on the bougainvillea flower. I will not let you go, thought Benno. Without making any noise, he walked very slowly. Before the butterfly could fly away, he grabbed it. He was very happy. He ran into the house to show his mother. Ma, look what I have caught today. What a beautiful butterfly! Don't you think he looks lovely with his yellow wings and violet dots? The mother was shocked to see the butterfly in her son's hands. The insect was fluttering and trying to get free. What are you going to do with it? I am going to put it in a bottle. It is going to be my pet. Benno's mother was even more shocked to hear this, but she decided to give him some time. Benno ran to his room, put the butterfly in an ink bottle and closed it. Mother came in. Ma, isn't it looking beautiful? What shall I name it? He asked excitedly. Yes, it looks beautiful, but I think 
It looks very sad. Perhaps it doesn't like to be inside a bottle. But why so? I will take good care of it. Mother looked at her innocent son and said, Beno, how would you feel if I kept you locked inside a room for one whole day? Won't you be sad? Won't you be angry with me? It's the same way with the butterfly. Its place is not here inside this bottle. His place is outside in the garden. He is created to fly and to be free. In fact, he will help you get fruits from flowers. Benno began to understand. He felt ashamed of his act. He opened the bottle and let out the butterfly. It first sat for a second or so on his mother's shoulders as if to thank her and then flew away into the garden. Look how happy he is now. Benno, we should allow the insects, birds and animals to be free. Caging them will make them unhappy. They have every right to be free as we are, said his mother. Sorry ma, I will not do this again. His mother was happy and she kissed him. Benno was also happy and so was the butterfly. Meanings Huge Big Sprinkle, spray. Spotted, dotted. Alas, unfortunately. Crept, move slowly. Splash, dash. Grabbed, took away by force. Flutter, flap. Excited, eager. Created, formed, produced. Ashamed, feeling guilty. Caging, locking up. Let us listen and enjoy. I am a caterpillar. Wiggle with me. What will I be, my darling? A chrysalis. Now sleep like me. A butterfly. Come fly with me. 
Come fly with me, my darling. Now all together, let's do all three. A caterpillar, a chrysalis, a butterfly, three. Move your body like this with me. The life of a butterfly, darling. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly up in the sky so high. Poem Color Butterflies by Susan M. Paprocki The first to come to the garden bed is a lovely butterfly of brilliant red. Then in comes another and that makes two. Fly right in, my friend of blue. The garden is fine, the best I've seen, says the butterfly of springtime green. Our garden needs a sunshiny fellow. Fly in, butterfly, with wings of yellow. Little friend of purple, fly in too. This garden is waiting for a colour like you. Orange, orange, you've waited so long. Fly right in where you belong. Butterflies, butterflies, you are such a sight. Flying together, a springtime delight. Meanings Brilliant, very bright. Springtime, season when plants grow. Rhyme time. Enjoy and read the rhyme. Caterpillar warm and furry, you are always in a hurry. Munching, munching, munching leaves, eating any time you please. Activities Complete the questions for the following sentences. Benno had a beautiful garden. The question would be, Who had a beautiful garden? One evening, he saw a butterfly. The question would be, When did he see a butterfly? It looked beautiful. The question would be, How did it look? He wanted to catch it. The question would be, What did he want to do? The butterfly sat on the lily plant. The question would be, Where did the butterfly sit? Unscramble the letters and find out the flowers in Benno's garden. U-N-L-O-R-E-S-F-W Sunflower R-O-D-L-M-A-G-I Marigold S R O E Rose 
H E O F L W R S E O shoe flower M E J S A N I jasmine read the following passage and answer the questions today chiku woke up at 6 in the morning she said her prayers she had an english test and so she studied for it she took her bath and dressed up beautifully taking her bag she went to school with her mother when did chiku wake up chiku woke up at 6 in the morning what did she do before studying for the english test she said her prayers before studying for the test how did she dress up she dressed up beautifully where did she go she went to the school who went with her to the school her mother went with her to the school make new words by adding the magic letter e m a t mat add e to get the word mate h a t hat add e to get the word hate b i t bit add e to get the word bite n o t not add e to get the word note h o p hop add e to get the word hope t u b tub add e to get the word tube functional grammar words that are used to describe a noun are called describing words let us read this passage and observe how the words in bold are used in the light of the bright moon a little egg lay on a green leaf on a sunday morning the warm sun rose out of the egg came a tiny and hungry caterpillar he started to look for some food on monday morning he ate one juicy red apple but was still hungry on tuesday he ate two pieces of big green pears but was still hungry on wednesday he ate three ripe plums but was all the more hungry on thursday he ate through four red strawberries but was still very very hungry on friday he ate five big round oranges but he was never satisfied on saturday he ate one large chocolate bar a tasty ice cream cone and a slice of creamy cake that night he had stomach ache the next day was sunday he was not hungry any more and had become a fat caterpillar he built a small house and called it a cocoon he slept inside for more than 2 weeks then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out and came out as a beautiful butterfly write down suitable words describing each picture a dash woman a short woman 
a dash pencil a long pencil a dash boy a cute boy a dash peacock a beautiful peacock a dash board a black board fill the words of comparison tall taller tallest fat fatter fattest big bigger biggest thick thicker thickest short shorter shortest when we compare only two objects we add er to the adjective when we compare more than two objects we add est to the adjective write down the names of two fruits cheaper than an apple banana mango two birds bigger than a crow eagle owl two animals stronger than the horse lion tiger add er or est apples are sweet mangoes are sweeter jackfruit is the sweetest a horse runs fast a tiger runs faster than a zebra a cheetah runs the fastest a lamp is bright a tube light is brighter the sun is the brightest